Hey guys, sorry I was going to do this outside. It's nice and sunny, but that wind, it's cold. It's like 50 degrees with a wind chill. Um, but I want to talk about something. I guess my last video has pissed a lot of people off. And I'm not on here on YouTube. My mouth is not a prayer book. I don't want everybody to agree with everything I say. Now, with that being said, these, the Democrats and the Republican Party, they want people to believe everything they say. They want them to be sheep. They don't want you to have a mind and an opinion of your own. In my last video, I stated what I felt. My facts that I see it happening, that Trump's a friggin' idiot for getting, in, getting us involved in another country's civil war. I stated the facts why he done it. People don't, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people, you know, they bashed me and I, a lot, some agreed to disagree, but they were no name calling. I'm not talking about, you know, my sub friends who who were respectful. I'm talking about these, these, these other idiots, these fanatics. America is ate up with fanatics in the, the political view. And that's what these bigwigs, Democrats and Republicans, want. They want you to be a fanatic. They want you to be brainwashed, mind-controlled by their indoctrination, their speech. That way they can control you. They don't want somebody who thinks for their self, who sees things the way they want to see. If you do that, oh, you're wrong. Well, I'm that type of person. I, I don't follow the crowd. I, you, we might see the same thing happening, and we're going to see, we're going to have a different view of it. And a lot of people will get upset if you don't have the same view as they do. That's called, you know, th these people left and right talk about kids being brainwashed in high school and college, especially the left, I mean the right. They're always blaming, you know, that. But they're doing the same thing to people who freely speaks their mind. They're bashing them, calling them names. What's the difference? Just because you're a Republican, you have the right to do it because you're doing it for America and the Democrats are doing it for some jerk in office? I mean, I can't understand that. You know, we live in America. We have the right to see things different, to speak our mind. There's so much fanaticism in America today, and it's due to the political parties. And people who's wrapped up in that crap are so idiots because that's what the elites, these billionaires, want to happen so they're easily controlled it reminds me the, these these fanatics remind me of back in world war ii with with hitler you know the 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 nazi youth or whatever you want to call them they would narc on their parents they would narc on their neighbors their friends because their neighbors or their friends or their family didn't believe Hitler's agenda. So they knocked, knocked them out and they got arrested. They got beat. They got killed. They got shipped off. This is what America's trying to turn into. If you don't believe what a Democrat says, or if you don't believe what a Republican says, man, they bash you. They do this to you because they want you to be a brainwash fool, an idiot, a retard. I'm sorry. I'm not that way. But just look at them. These, these Democrats and Republicans remind me, I have seen them, I have, you guys have seen it too on TV, over in Europe, in Central and South America, and Mexico, 
when a soccer team loses or they win, they go friggin' batshit crazy with riots and major brawls because they're indoctrinated. They're, they're brainwashed to that type of bullshit. Just look how the Black Lives Matter group, that Atifa group, you know, look how they act. They're fanatics. These these damn neo-Nazi skinheads are fanatics. And these militias, a lot of them are friggin' fanatics. We've got so much fanatical groups here in the United States. It, it, it's unbelievable. And the biggest one is this Democrats and Republican, the political fanaticism going on. You know, my sub friends who have been respectful and say, hey, Mike, you're right on some things, but I disagree with you on some things. That is cool. I, I, I'll, I love those comments. I mean, but if you, you know, say, oh, you're wrong. You don't know your facts. You don't know this. People like that are so dumb. They can't scratch their nose and wipe their ass at the same time because they've been indoctrinated. They're fanatics. And no matter any type of talking to, it's not going to work for them because they're already brain dead. They're brainwashed. They're, they're, they're on another planet. And the funny thing is, people like that, who's, who's fanatics and brainwashed, in a SHTF situation, if they are in a group setting, that group they're with, one or two things going to happen. That group's going to fall apart from infighting and fanaticism, and they're all going to die off. Or the group members are going to get tired of these people's bullshit fanaticism ways and they're going to either shoot them or throw them out. So people who are brainwashed through this political party means in a SHTF situation, you're done for. Because you don't have your brain screwed up. You're like a damn drug addict. You've got to have this political party fix or you go through withdrawals and if somebody says oh you're like a heroin addict when somebody says meth is better you get all upset all right i'm gonna re i'm gonna say this i'm gonna get up here trump is a retarded freaking idiot for putting america in danger obama was a muslim muslim terrorist who was a worthless piece of shit. Hillary Clinton is a crazy bitch. Bernie Sanders is a low-life, wannabe hippie scum. Both Bushes weren't worth a, a fart in a paper bag. Carter was a useless coward. Now, did I? Do you guys get my point? That's my right to speak my mind. And if you don't like it, you can go all crazy, ape shit, fanaticism, like you guys, like a lot of them do. I mean, just read the comments on some of these crazy people. I mean, they really need mental help because they they don't know Donald Trump does not care if you go out there and you protest for him or if you go fight for him. He don't care. He's sitting back laughing. Him and all the other politicians, let it be from the left, let it be from the right, the only thing they care is for you, these fanatics, to donate to their re-election funds so they can get money. That's what it all boils down to. The power, the greed, the money. And if you can't figure that, 
the, he, uh, Donald Trump is not for the American people. Obama was not for the American people. Clinton is not for the American people. They're out for their self and their elite friends. And they indoctrinate these low IQ retards from both sides of the fence to be Hitler-style brainwashed people. If you don't believe... If you go against the grain, oh, you're wrong, you're, you're, you're this and you're that and you're the, you know, I've already put a few in the play, in their places. You know, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I'm not going to run from a fight. When they come at me through words, I'm going to put them in their place. If they come at me to do me harm, I'm going to put them six feet under. I'm not no Billy Badass. I'm not no Superman. I'm not no damn Rambo. But I will defend my right as an American with free speech. Let it be, you know, if I have to stoop to their level to be a keyboard commando and put them in their place and hurt their marshmallow feelings, I'll do that. Or if I see them, if they see me outside, out somewhere, and they come up running their mouth, threatening me, I'm going to put them down. You know, I'm just so sick of this fanaticism in America. If we can get away, get rid of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, things would get bright for us. No politician is for the American people. They're for their self they're for what they can gain and what they can get and for their rich elite friends. That's the bottom line. So you Hitler, Stalin type fanatic people who goes beyond reason, beyond whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, sanity. You know, I the, the just the right, oh, look what the Democrats are doing. They're fanatics. The Republicans are just as bad in the fanatic aspect as the Democrats. Read the comments I got. Go back to the other videos that I done about Trump and Obama. Look, I'm getting slammed by both because I'm not a sheep. I don't follow the crowd. So therefore, you're not a crowd follower. You're wrong. You can't have free speech. You can't think for yourself. I tell you what, until the day I die, I'm going to be a free thinker. I'm going to be a free speech. And to hell with anybody who don't like it. I, I will never follow the crowd. I will never fit in to the crowd and agree with everything everybody says. I'm not that way. If I see it and it looks like dog shit, I'm going to tell you it looks like dog shit. And Donald Trump, right, what he done, getting us involved in a, another country's civil war, is dog shit. He's putting my boys in danger. Now, oh my God, I said Donald Trump's dog shit. Watch the fanatics come out at this. Watch them just go crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Don't let me, let me not forget to lift. Obama was a Muslim terrorist and illegal alien who, who the elites bought the White House for. So... I, you know, I don't want anybody thinking I'm an Obama fan or a Clinton fan or anything like that because that's how fanatics work. They just hear certain words and that's the way they go. So, you guys tell me what you think. Do you think America is ate up with these fanatics, especially in the political view arena? Have you seen them go, I'm talking the left and the right go crazy? Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if, tell me if I'm wrong. 
But if you guys really sit back and you think, the ones that has common sense, the ones who are true Americans and not fanatics and not been brainwashed, will say, yeah, America's pretty bad with fanatics. But, um, now I know this, this, um, video is probably piss some people off. And like my wife says, I'm good at pissing people off. And I am. Because I don't follow the crowd. I don't believe what people says. I believe what I see and how I feel. And that's the way it should be. You shouldn't be an outcast because you have a brain and you think for yourself and you don't follow the crowd. And that's why in a SHTF situation, a lot of Americans are going to die because of their stupidity and their fanatic ways. Think about it. But I'm getting off of here. And I hope everybody has a great day. Even you crazy ass fanatics out there who's going to bash me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.